All right, getting creative at the Capitol and coming up with new ways to budget and govern our state. That is the idea behind some new policy working groups that have been formed by House Majority Floor Leader John Eccles. So to get more insight on what is going on with these groups, when they'll start up, we are kindly joined now by the representative himself. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, we do appreciate your time. I think it goes without saying we had a very turbulent uh, last year and last session. We struck a deal on a budget, but a lot of people I feel like are still anxious about what's to come next year. So tell us about these groups that you formed and, and what the main mission is. Well, well the purpose is if, uh, what I've been telling people. If you want to have a great session, a great February to May, you're going to have to have a great, you know, eight months where we're not in session, planning, getting ready for session. That's the purpose of these groups. The goal is to get people together, figure out, set our policy agenda during the eight months prior to going into session. So we go in in February with a full idea of what we want to get accomplished. And it's my understanding that lawmakers who make up these groups are House Republicans for they, this group. They is, are. Is so the, these are Republican study groups. What I'm envisioning is going to happen, and this is our first time to do this in the state of Oklahoma. I, we frankly should have had most legislative bodies have study groups like this. Um, I don't know why we didn't, but I decided to put them together as floor leader and they should be meeting monthly. They should be done by December. Now, I'm pleased to announce too, the governor's office has decided they are going to send someone to these study groups, which is excellent. So we're gonna have working together with the executive branch. Mm -hmm. Hopefully around December, we'll have a full policy agenda. We start talking to the minority party about what we can agree on and what we can't agree on. We're just gonna put on the board and see what happens. Are there Democratic groups? doing the same thing? The, I think Leader Inman does a good job putting together his policy agenda. I don't know what Leader Inman does on his policy agenda, but I so know there's no plan his. to work back and forth between. No, that'll uh, start in December. That'll yeah, start in December. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think that's when you're going to have the back and forth between the two parties, figure out what we can agree on right away and, and, and move forward. And then if there are things we can't agree on because we view the world differently, that's why we put votes on the board. See what okay. happens. And then you'll go head to head then. Do you want to read um, this quote, you came out and said this, particularly given our fiscal situation, we need to be much more creative and efficient in the way we budget and govern. My expectation from discussions I have already had with members is that we are going to get some really good ideas from these groups that will be implemented next year. So looking into your crystal ball yeah. for 2018, what are our priorities here and what does your wish list look like? We're going to have to find ways to properly and efficiently fund state government. Now, that's not going to be all through revenue increases, and that's not going to be all through cuts. So with, we have over 30 new members that are freshmen just in the Oklahoma House of Representatives out of 101. That means fresh ideas, fresh thinking, new ways of doing things. Don't want to do, gov doesn't want to do the government the old way because that's the way it's always been done. I think the priorities are still going to be trying to find a way to fund core services, trying to find a way to have a teacher pay raise, but to fund government in the most efficient manner possible. And you took me to my next point that I was going with teacher pay raises. I think that was probably one of the most uh, hotly uh, yes. you know, discussed fights uh, that people were trying to, to get accomplished. The, the new budget did not have teacher pay raises in it. Is it actually realistic, do you think, to expect that in 2018 and just a year from now? The House passed a budget with a teacher pay raise that the Senate did not take up. It held, the budget that the House passed with the teacher pay raise held 15 uh, agencies harmless or increases. It was a 8% cut to non-core agencies and included a $1,000 teacher pay raise. I think we could have done that last year. I think we should have done it last year, and I'm hoping we get it done next year. But why wasn't it? Well, when the House decided to pass it, it wasn't that wasn't the budget chosen by the Senate. It wasn't by the wasn't the budget chosen by the governor. Mm -hmm. So at that point, that wasn't something we could do. And why do we think things will turn around for us next year? And also, probably worth a mention, this was the 13th year in a row that education bu budget wasn't met on time. On, Correct. On the April deadline. On absolutely. The April deadline. Pa part of the problem with the April deadline, which I feel is, like is unconstitutional. Yeah. Well, it's a statute. It's not the Constitution, <laughs> but. Um, or against the, the law, I should say. Yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah. I <laughs> but, retract my statement there. <laughs> against the law. But part of the problem with the April deadline is mm -hmm. we don't know how much money we have to budget till the end of March. So had we passed an education budget April 1, it would have had around a 10% cut mm -hmm. because it didn't include new revenue that was generated through the rest of session. Now that being said, when we do get those final certification numbers at the end of March, one of the committees I'm talking about is a budget reform committee. Uh, the one year we, we did pass that on time is when we passed a budget at the end of March with the money that we had. Showed the citizens, if nothing changes, 
this is the dollars we have to appropriate. Remember, Oklahoma's not like Washington. We can only appropriate the dollars we have. Sure. And I definitely think that's probably one of the recommendations I bet will come out of the new Budget Reform Committee. Okay, and lastly, probably worth a mention, these are voluntary groups, Yes. not paid. This is on your own time. We got to elaborate on so these groups. So legislators that, that choose to do this, it's strictly voluntary. They're not getting any per diem. They're taking their own time to come in and, and frankly, in my opinion, though, do the job they were elected to do. I think we have a lot of potential in the legislature, but we need to unlock it. We need to give an opportunity for creative thinking, an opportunity where they know leadership has their back. When they come up with good ideas, we're going to implement those ideas. And they're coming in on their own time. They're meeting monthly. And again, by December, we're expecting to have policy ideas we can roll out. All right. 